previously tried to break up with him. Because I, you know, when you have too much hope and you're like, well, I remember they were nice to me when we first met. <laughs> Define hope. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, you, you, you had hope. Is that like the Obama slogan? Hope? Hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I had a friend from high Bright school whose mom's name stuff. was Hope. Are you talking about her? Yeah. No. No. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> I that We're was just going to let Lucas bomb on this episode. <laughs> that was a real question. And I was like, what should I say about people's names? And then, yeah. I, then I remember this girl named Honesty in my middle school. Oh. For real? Her name was Honesty. Yeah. Oh, my God. Was she honest? Um, I think a lot of people. Wait, I don't know if I should tell say this, but I think a lot of people were uh, unhappy with her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. She had this shirt that said like "Boys Rule." It's pretty cool. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. I mean, depends on the boys you're talking to. No, it to. was I rule. That's what it was. Oh my god. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the kind of person. That's also, I'm definitely putting on the AC again because it is too hot in here. I I used to have a shirt in middle school that said "No autographs, please." <laughs> it was a shirt I wore every three days on repeat. Well, on, so wait, on the dot, it had to be every third day? Oh, it didn't have to be. It was just one of the only shirts I liked. You remember those? Uh, wait, are we starting? We're in. Oh, we're in. Oh, okay. We're in. We're, oh. we're hey. doing. <laughs> we've got <laughs> a cold open. We never start. It, it's it's like, where does life begin? Life is just an ongoing oh, process. That so That's nice. exactly the same thing of this podcast. Yeah, have yeah. you ever been interviewed without really knowing it? I have like, actually it's, like a job interview. Oh, that I have that has not happened oh. to me. Has that happened to you? That happened to me one time, and I was so happy that I didn't know because whoa, I was just like chill, and uh, was I, it, I didn't think it mattered that much. And I what didn't was care. the setting? It was a uh, it was to do a postdoc. Wait, before we get to this, I just want to because I was gonna say okay. you had what was your no autographs? No please? autographs, please. Yeah. Do you remember all those keychains that they used to sell at Claire's? You know, Claire's oh, the yeah. accessory store? <laughs> oh, and be do like, I know Claire's? They'd be like, you want my number? Oh, okay. 1-800. No, thank you. <laughs> 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 I bought some version of that. Did I don't know you? which one. Oh. I'm like, I'm like 10 years old. I'm like, you, no thanks. <laughs> it's, oh. like, it's like, get real. I think that was one of them as well. I love oh the God. idea of someone having a cell phone that's a 1 800 number. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a power move. Yeah. <laughs> they probably thought that was so funny when they were developing the keychains. They're like, kids don't know that this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of things at Claire's like that. Like, there were the lipsticks that were like uh, sodas. Do you oh, remember that? No, I don't remember that. Or was it lip? It was lip gloss. There were the lip glosses that were like Dr. Pepper. Oh, and, yeah. I had those. Yeah. yeah. Was, Wait, was it just like flavored or did you? It was were they also just drinkable? <laughs> no, they were not drinkable. Oh, you okay. could eat them. Cross my legs here. But it wasn't, a, it wasn't a great choice. Oh, okay. You could eat them, but I paid the price. Oh, what was the <laughs> price? Um, Price was uh, $2,000 of my spleen. Wait, what's wait? Is there two thousand dollars left of your spleen? Now? Yeah, yeah. It's. Do you want? That's an expensive spleen. It is. Man, it's a lot sp- of petroleum jelly. Yeah. To have on your tongue. I know, it is. It was not a good move. I think it only happened a couple times where I was like, "Let me lick the." I was kidding about like fully eating the thing, but I did like lick it to yeah, just see yeah. what. See what it was. Oh wait, I definitely childhood. had a. I definitely had a phase where I swallowed the toothpaste too often. Oh, when I, I did was that. Really, yeah. There was this one toothpaste I really liked because it was like spearminty. Yeah, 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 I don't, yeah. I never see it around anymore. Is it like Trident or something? Trident? Oh, isn't that gum? Oh, yeah. oh that's gum. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> there was this one toothpaste I you could chew. Like, I was like, so that's weird. a brand I know of. I'm sure I've seen it. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt pretty like good about that uh, suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, Trident. <laughs> You can chew yeah. this toothpaste. It came in a metallic wrapper. You bought it at the bodega underneath the uh, yeah. Reese's pieces. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah it was dehydrated, so it was really solid. Yeah. 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 You know it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. And it works different. The mechanism is it like sticks and pulls, sticks and pulls. Sticks yeah, and yeah, pulls. yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't even chew it. You just go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's. It's. You dare like... I say too much tensile strength? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
man. Yeah. I yeah. forgot what I was asking you before we were talking about the keychains. Oh, the, Claire's. Um, Something the, about like, Claire's? Underground interview. Or underground oh, interview, yeah. yes. Interview. So wait, was it in like a typical office or interview environment? No, there were no like signs of it. So okay. I, was, I was interviewing to do this like research job um, at another university. And my supervisor at the time I was like, we're going to get lunch. She texted me that morning, like, early. And I'm, I remember I was, like, late. Like, I woke up late that morning and saw mm -hmm. her text. And I was like, oh, my God. It's like your boss being like, hey, we have a meeting in, like, 30 minutes that we didn't schedule. But we're doing this meeting. Jesus. You're going to have to, like, present some of your stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I, like, walked to the campus, had this meeting with this researcher and, and my boss. And uh, I didn't know. I thought we were just having breakfast together mm. yeah yeah um and then i was telling him about like data and stuff this is my past life which we could talk about if you want but i am so oh, curious yeah. about it i feel yeah. like you've lived many lives yeah, oh, yeah but it was so nice because like i didn't feel like he was evaluating me i thought sure. we were just mm. chatting about what i'd been working on yeah yeah and uh we got along really well because i wasn't all like okay what should i say now to impress him which is what i'm doing now <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, we're impressed. Oh, we're very no. impressed. <laughs> we, I wish we tri we tricked you. We'd been like, so uh, you're gonna come on the podcast. Uh, it's an interview. It's an interview. For, oh yeah, for a uh, data science position. Okay, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna run data <laughs> science on our podcast, as opposed to yeah. the data arts. <laughs> Every time I bring up the taint, you like make a new chart for it. Wait, very okay. This is like a, a very brief tangent. Have you guys ever walked past a place that says like? Uh, an office of dental arts instead no. of just dentistry. No, I find I feel that like you made that up. I there is a place near me that's that says that, and it scares me. I'm like, no, I don't want art. I don't want flair on yeah. uh, on, on a teeth. on a cavity filling. What about right down the street? There's a sign. It's for therapy, and it's like interactive, meaningful <laughs> therapy. <or something. laughs> It feels similar to dental art, where it's like yeah, no. it's a little too flowery. I want my therapy mm. to be as meaningless as possible. Yeah, honestly. yeah. like like my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I look, want nothing but right angles. That's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you don't want more flair in your teeth. It is Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want rainbow teeth. You got a lot of po no. movie posters. Yeah, a lot of movie posters. No, my life as Takashi Six Nine is over. Um, <laughs> Who? You don't know about Takashi Six. You know about Six Nine. Do you know Six I don't know his music, but I. Nor do I. It very well. But if you see him, you'll know him. No, he's like. He's um, got tattoos on his face, right? A yeah, he's, uh, lots of tattoos, yeah. lots of the numbers Six Nine, is and he, then he is like. Is he okay? He doesn't look it. Why? Why um, does he like the number sixty nine? I couldn't mm. tell you for the life of me. I think is it so round? Because it can't be. It can't be the obvious thing. No, he definitely right? doesn't. Do if that happened, oh god, I have the sickest thing to say. Oh, please say it. If if he were doing that, whoever the woman is would like be on his face and wash away his tattoos. Is that how you think <laughs> tattoos work? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what I well what I was thinking was, what if he's just that good at it that he's like, I gotta let the people know. Yeah. Well, what do you think it is? You never know. I don't know. I just feel like if it was that, if it was the sexual act. Disgusting. <laughs> it just feels too, like, almost like too hack or something. I have a I feeling the what... man's not in a subtlety. Yeah. What if it's like a yin-yang sign? Ooh. Ooh. But it's like, because it looks like a yin-yang, right? Yeah. Right? It but does, it fits in yeah. a username. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yang Yang 69. But also it makes him look like he doesn't care about anything, but then he's actually just like displaying it to you. Wait, like, what if he's him, so. what if he's Elon Musk's son sent from the future? Oh. What what makes you what makes you because say that? Do, do you remember <laughs> his yeah, my response Wait. was just oh. Yeah, we were like, oh Do what? you not remember his recent baby name with Grimes? I somebody did a bit on this the other night. I feel like I stopped following like stuff as closely as I should. So okay. the only way I know is because I saw another comics bit. It's I like see. Ecstasia. Okay. What is it? It's like X. No, that's a rapper. I don't know. I don't no, that's know. Extension, who you're <laughs> oh, yeah. thinking of. Yeah. Extentacion. And didn't he die? I don't is know. He? Oh, I hope not. No, I'm thinking of someone else. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't this even know their names, but I hope they're okay. Wait, so Grimes' baby's name is? is I think it's X Ash A12. I think that's the. Right, like, I the... thought there were numbers in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you never know. Yeah. This so could be is, the way names So, is that why. But why is he from the future? Because he's old? Yeah, because he's grown up. 
and like so. he's like hey this is what happens in the future don't do this <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess he has a sad i mean elon musk's kid is gonna have a sad life he's gonna have all the money in the world but at what cost or wait is it a is it a daughter i thought it was a daughter I could. I do not know. Mm. Do not know the gender of the child. Yeah, I don't know. I think. I think she's gonna have a really hard uh, time. Mm. Cause I. Cause I think Grimes is probably a good mom, but but she's she's contending with a lot. I think it's gonna be a wait, rough. Con wait, contending with what? With Elon or the media? Mm. What? What do you mean? All of it. Elon, the media. She's clearly got a. a Just her... like outer space in general. Yeah. 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 She's got a lot going on. <laughs> her brain is very beep Physics. boop bop bop. Yeah. <laughs> She's contending with physics. <laughs> uh, we're all contending with physics, I think. Yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, these thermodynamics are really keeping me down. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 All the stuff that everyone assumes her dad knows, she's like contending with. <laughs> Isn't that what people think of him? Yeah, they think mm. he's a genius. Yeah. When he was accused of like showing his. He's like, I know math. <laughs> <laughs> when he was I accused of PayPal? showing his dick what to some woman. The, his fans were like on Twitter being like, imagine being mad that Elon Musk show you his dick. It's like, <laughs> you're gay for Elon Musk. That's what you want. Yeah, I mean, regardless I, of I'm your gender, if you're into in... Elon Musk, you're gay. <laughs> yeah. It would be interesting to see. Mm. What, do you, what do you think it looks like? <laughs> it's probably pretty basic. Yeah. He's probably upset about how basic it is. <laughs> you know? Because of like all those other... It just doesn't fit his whole personality that he's built for himself you're right like even if even if someone got his dick pic they would make the pr around it as though it was like insane mm. like it was like i don't know a shape no one's ever seen or something yeah. <laughs> I think, it, I think it, whole vibe. I think his, I think you're if right. He had a regular dick. It's a, cro <laughs> it's a cross <laughs> dick, like a cross <laughs> joint. <laughs> There's two cross. dicks. <laughs> if he has a regular dick, I have no interest in going into space. <laughs> Imagine a video of Seth Rogen showing like, hey, this is how you build your perfect cross dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Vanity Fair, you use YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Over 73 questions. <laughs> so what's this? The Elon Musk stick. Like... Oh, my God. Well, oh. today's 73 questions goes to our guest. We're on Two Nosy Meerkats podcast. Which is the podcast we're on. We always do a really clunky intro right yeah, up top. Yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out Really, one day. really yeah, yeah, yeah. clunky. I haven't talked about Claire's accessories in a long time. I oh, want, you, I want you, you to keep going with it. I want oh, you to yeah. tell me all about the oh, mole. I need to. This is the first time I've ever talked about it. <laughs> I've never been. Um, we're on Two Nosy Meerkats. I think you like Claire's. It's Lucas would love place. Place. It's a fun store. Before you describe why, I think we ought to uh, introduce our oh, guest. Yeah. Uh, if you are in uh, the New York comedy, I love how ready you are to applaud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're in uh, New York comedy, you know her from Ambush Comedy. You know her as the co-producer of Drool Comedy with friend of the podcast, Claire Alexander. A round of applause for your friend and mine, Brittany Cardwell. Hey! Yeah. Thanks. And the representative of Claire's. Yes. yes. Lucas would love it there. Claire's accessories. Yes. Got what? my ears pierced there. Oh. Mm -hmm. How old were you? I had to wait till I was 10. My parents wouldn't let me. My mom wow. thought... It was going to be a slippery slope and that I would end up like. To what, drugs? Sleeping with animals. Oh, or okay. <laughs> <laughs> you skip weed and go right to bestiality. <laughs> my mom, I just realized my mom used the slippery slope for my ear piercings. Like she thought if I got one before, she thought if I got one, I would get too many. Mm. I don't know why she thought the age would change that. But anyway, she thought Wait, it was a Bring the mic slope. just a little bit closer to you. She thought that was nice. a slippery slope, but then she used like the same argument for gay marriage later on. <laughs> like, <laughs> like just the seriousness of like the two different categories. Wait, what so did she th did she use like oh if you if gay marriage is legalized, everyone who's ten is gonna want to go to Claire. Is that yeah. like what <laughs> what was, what was it gonna lead to? Separate periods, but I just realized that she used the exact same argument for like very different levels of serious seriousness. You know, okay. like one was about me getting too many piercings. Oh. Yeah. And then later she was like, you know, like when I was in high school or something and I started paying attention to their political views. Right. She was, they're very conservative. Oh, OK. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Sorry. R remind me where you <laughs> <laughs> apologize for where you came from. It's Pride Sorry. Month. How dare you? But they're great people. <laughs> 
there are very fine people on both sides. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As Politically evil. Say. Fiscally. Uh, no, wait. Fiscal. I mixed it up. I don't I'm going to move on from yeah, the yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. Fiscally <laughs> conservative. Socially evil. Socially <laughs> chill me. as fuck. That's uh, me. <laughs> where did you grow up again? Yeah. Washington State. Washington State. Okay. okay. Pretty liberal place. Yeah. yeah. With conservative mm. parents. Yeah. My dad's in the military. Or he was. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Have you and seen what? the new Top Gun? No. Oh, wait, can I ask what wing of the military your your dad was in? Army? Army, okay. Yeah. I was going to ask if he was in the Air Force because, oh. If My, you're, oh. wait, why? Oh, no, because Top, well, you know, have you oh. seen Top Gun? I mean, a long time ago, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, new the new one, one, it's extraordinary. Really? It's so much fun. All right. And the th- it's one of the funniest movies also. Oh, really? It's, I don't know how intentional it is. But holy shit, is it hilarious? It's definitely not intentionally funny. Probably not. Is it because there's like lots of like aggression, like macho stuff? Kind. Of, it's more that they it just seems ridiculous. It's kind of? campy. It's, it's very really campy. Really like yeah, dramatic yeah, yeah. and high camp. And like ah. the the theater we were in was just absolutely <laughs> loving it. It was like right over there. Oh yeah, I just passed that. <laughs> yeah, I, I will have to. I, I will have there. to bleep out the theater name to sort of obscure exactly where I live. Oh yeah. Oh sure. Okay. It was the Chuck E. Cheese right next there to we go. <laughs> Middletown America, where yes. Lucas lives. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 It was in the Chuck E. Cheese. It was at one point we were like these. If there is a vet in the audience, they must be so sad because they're like hearing a bunch of Brooklynites just laugh while I like yell at two characters to kiss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Gabby killed the room by when it was like Miles Teller like pulling up Tom Cruise and then they're like an inch away from each other and Gabby just goes kiss. And, <laughs> <laughs> the crowd erupt. It was so nice. funny. Nice. Yeah. Well, my, uh, the, the the venue, the um, uh, Chuck E. Cheese had had really good drinks. So I. I oh yeah. Yeah. Got mm-hmm. pretty drunk They're watching good, it. Yeah. yeah. No, but there was like a couple that walk as we were like, like processing the movie outside the theater we were talking about like how funny it was and we were like are there any like veterans who saw the movie who were just like really offended that a <laughs> room full of brooklynites were laughing at it? and then like a couple walked past and one very military looking dude just said yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was your dad yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he yeah. walked over to brooklyn just to see the movie yeah yeah, yeah he probably these looked. worthless clowns <laughs> is that <laughs> what he what sounds you like <laughs> He says stuff like that all the time. It's really funny. Oh my god! These One time, wor- okay, he was talking about car. He was talking about insurance. He was talking about Allstate insurance, and I don't know what the story was, but that's how it ended. He was like, "These worthless clowns." <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say it about anybody. I actually just came across like a bunch of notes in my phone from this trip that I had, where I was with my dad and like a couple other family members. And I was like writing down stuff that he said, and that was one of them. It was about Allstate. Another Damn. thing he said, he was. <laughs> Wait, I sent it to my brother. Can I? Oh, yeah, please pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. I love this shit. It's just. Wait, as you're pulling it up, do you have any memory of like the most outrageous thing uh, a parent has said oh, baby. in your presence? Oh, baby. Because I've got a couple. Oh, I've got a couple. My mother oh, texts like Cher. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> Wait, you- what? <laughs> go on go on uh at one point she she said to me i still have the text memorized it was like just came back from the gym over her young man talking about his date only interested in how smart she was what's this i'm hearing smart is the new hot <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like really written out as xoxo well. oh. <laughs> with brenda yeah. yeah i'm not sure if i mentioned wait do you have it pulled up if not, I'll say yeah, what my no, dad. I do, I do. Yeah, yeah, uh, pull it up, pull it up. Or yeah, yeah, go for it. Wait, pull that up, Jamie. Actually, uh, you go first. Sorry. Okay, okay. Well, um, one of them's not showing completely, and I, got I you. don't want to so, like mess up the words. When I was all. fourteen, I was with my dad, yeah. uh, driving through Brooklyn, and I need to make this clear: my dad was Jewish, uh, because what? he's about to say something. Okay. He's about to say okay. So we're we're driving through Brooklyn, and we drive past uh, a family of Hasidic Jews. Yeah. And he says, you know what you never say when you see a group of Hasidic Jews? And I was like, and I was like, what, Dad? And he said, you never say, hey, they look healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Same with conspiracy theorists. True. True. <laughs> True. Whoa. Oh, yeah. But wait, that Am was I... supposed to be wrong to say. And I was like, yeah, and also these people. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> I mean, why it's... conspiracy theorists? <laughs> Canceled. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm done. That's because I was distracted by this. I was like, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can. You can. Wait. 
Maybe maybe we'll bleep it out, but maybe we won't. You never I don't know. Think yeah. we will. But well. at least like like conspiracy theorists are not it's not targeting like a specific group based on their heritage, at least. Well, I was born a conspiracy theorist. Wait. Oh, I, okay. Which conspiracy? Um, Should I leave? Yeah. <laughs> Can you go? Yeah. It was the conspiracy that Britney runs the media. Uh. Not ju- not Jews. <laughs> Just Britney. We are not the, Jewish. So. I love the idea. Wait, I love the idea that like someone goes around interviewing Jewish people like, "Who do you think runs the media?" and they all go, "Britney Cardwell." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, that's this is a, taking too long for me to pull up. Okay, I'm just going to okay. read from the the very, like, short ones that okay, I okay. have. Okay. I feel like the moment's passed now. No. So this is my dad. Oh, no. I'm so, so like, in deep. The tension I'm so has in been deep. building. I'm rock hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're on this trip uh, in Philly. It was, like, it was like February. It was pretty cold. And it was like a little family trip. We're walking around. And my dad, just, he was just like... He saw this dude with a milkshake. <laughs> and he's like, this guy's walking around outside with a milkshake in his hand. Wow, that guy's losing it. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> losing he, it? Like, he gets like so... Okay, and he's like, we're in a hotel, right? He's like... Please tell me it's just the most simple, just chill dude just enjoying a milkshake. <laughs> it's just a guy on the street... That happen yeah. to have a milkshake in cold weather, and my dad's like, okay. "This guy, he's losing <laughs> it." <laughs> and then we're in this hotel, and he didn't. He looks at the carpet. He's like, "This carpet's the worst ever. It's disgusting." I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he means it. You should put your dad on Twitter. He's so, He'd be really he's good so on Twitter. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just <laughs> overheard him. <laughs> I overheard him. Another, I wish I wrote more of this stuff down. I overheard him just be like, "So your wife puts melon in here, huh?" <laughs> melon? Who did he, he was say like, that to? You? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what? Oh my god, you're crying! <laughs> yeah. Real tears. Yeah, I'm crying. Oh, I've, that's I've been so doing this a lot lately. Oh this, t- this type. Oh, oh, the crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You I've need, been crying, <laughs> laughing a lot lately. He needs too. a podcast. Yeah, I was thinking dope. about interviewing him in some form. Oh, you gotta. He's always saying like such funny stuff. Maybe you don't put it out to the public. Maybe I don't know what you do, but you need to record him. Yeah. You need on some in some way. You need yeah. to. Oh my god! And that's yeah. So funny. Also, because I think he only does that when he's really being himself. Like yeah. if we were recording and he really he knew it and thought it was like, okay, I'm gonna be good for my thing. You need to do what your old boss did with you. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Bring him in for like a lunch, just and like record a hang. it. Yeah, hang yeah, yeah, yeah. An undercover recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, need yeah. to impractical yeah. jokers him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it also needs to be with like me, and not just me. It needs to be a few people. Okay. Also family or could not be family? What's I think mostly family. Okay. Because otherwise he'll be really focused on like making sure, uh, you know, he has like, I think he has like social anxiety. I mean, okay. everyone does, but I think he'd be really focused on like trying to get to know the other people. I yeah. see. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Are your parents still together? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's the dynamic like? Uh, also, what like, oh. well, first off, what's your <laughs> mom? Okay. Well, first off, what's your mom like as a person? Oh my this gosh. Okay, so my mom. You know, I just. Do you tried... want me to adjust the microphone, by the way? <laughs> well, Are I don't know. Okay? Is this close enough? This is... Let me move it just a little closer. Okay. I got you. So chivalrous, Lucas. It's like I always say you can't trust women to do anything. It's just yeah. what it is. Well, that's generally not true, but I certainly wouldn't do what you're doing right now. All right, now. that's good. Okay. Um, My mom is. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just like crying, laughing. Yeah. Right. My mom does that, but she'll like be trying to tell you a story. Like <laughs> <laughs> for like ten minutes, she'll just be crying, laughing about some story, <laughs> and you can't, you can't understand anything she's saying in the lead up. <laughs> like, there's no story happening because it just right. is like. <laughs> <laughs> so- and she looks like she almost needs like help. Like she looks. Which I do too from time to time. Sometimes I'll be laughing hysterically and I just like, I actually feel scared that I'm still laughing. Like I'm oh, out of yeah. control and I'm like, I don't know if I can ever stop myself <laughs> from <laughs> laughing. Oh but yeah, I, I have you... a lot of moments like that for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have either of you laughed so hard you've thrown up? 
I've nah. never I've 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 come well I've given myself muscle spasms in my core oh, yeah, uh, from laughing too hard for sure that I felt the next day yeah. oh yeah and like it was, a super sore jaw the next day yes yeah oh. yeah, yeah yeah it's hard being so funny like yeah <laughs> It's like emotionally exhausting. Sometimes it's like it's as hard bad just as being the best audience. For a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just being so great. Um, but my mom, she like really loves attention, and oh, stuff. Okay. she'll like be the one that's at a party. She'll be the one that's like oh in the center, D- like telling all the stories. Does stuff. your dad like giving her attention? Is it like a yeah, mutual thing? Yeah. I think so, and he doesn't like that type of attention. Okay, I think that type of attention he like avoids. Yes, but he likes a, he likes one on one to tell okay. stories and like yeah. Yeah. Okay. He tells me lots of <laughs> his stories though were like <laughs> he likes working on boats and cars and like mechanical type stuff. Okay, that's cool. And so that's cool. his stories to me will just be like the longest story about like pieces of an engine. Oh my god. Like oh, it's yeah. so I can't imagine any aspect of the story. So I'm just holding on to all these like basically just like values. Like you don't know what the values are. Mm. You know what I mean? It's he, almost like he's describing a math problem that has all these things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't know. It's so deep in the weeds. You're it's like, so I have no deep. idea what's going on. I don't know yeah. any of the elements. So yeah, I yeah. can't, I can never, I don't know what his life is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty common, like, dad thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. My dad yeah. loves to do that about, like, I went to the restaurant and the waiter said there was no ketchup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my dad was like that. The thing is, like, he would assume that I remembered all of his friends perfectly. Uh, and he would just, like, say, oh, yeah, you know, Paul Wesley and this guy. I'm like, oh, I have yeah. no idea who these. You have to show me a photo. Yeah. I, too many characters. It's too yeah. many characters. Yeah. Yeah. Why did, and your dad used their first and last name. Yeah. Yeah. My dad did that, too. Yeah. I think because they were high school friends, and that's, like, a time when you used first and last oh, names. Oh, okay. Or something. Maybe. Wait, how old is your dad? He's, um, like, 62. Oh, wow. Your dad's young. He's a young buck. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's not 62. Young and sprightly. Wait. Mm. Tom yeah, Cruise's he's, age. He's close to 62, I think. Is he 62? <clears throat> I, think he's, I think Tom Cruise is, like, 59 around about. Mm. I know, because so I looked him up hot. on Wikipedia. Oh, he he's so hot? He is. He's aged phenomenally. But I will say, like, the, uh, during Top Gun, they were all plotting for him in the theater. And I was like, he's definitely killed people. <laughs> <laughs> you shut at us. He was like, he's killed people. <laughs> yeah, I did. Shelly Miscavige. Yeah, I, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. You might like this. Maybe both of you will like, do you know, oh. um, so, you know, Scientology. Like, do you know this documentary? I'm familiar with her work. You've yeah. heard of it? I've yeah. never <laughs> heard this bit. I'm this bitch again. Yeah. 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 Um, what was it? Have you seen Louis Thoreau's documentary? No, I it? haven't. Do you, do you know Louis Thoreau? I know Louis Thoreau. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Yeah. Wait, what's the documentary it's called? It's called, like, My Scientology Movie. Yes. Something? No, I've not okay. seen it. Oh, my God. It's so good. If you, if you like him, like, yeah. you'll love it. Okay. He's great. Like he he's really great. I do yeah. like. He's yeah. the one who goes into those like uh, underground groups, right, and like yeah. fucks around. He, with he's them. very yeah. immersive. Yeah. He puts himself yeah. in there. Uh huh. Yeah. And he's like super awkward and goofy. Like he's really funny in yeah. his interactions with yeah. them. Even though he's not like really trying to be, he he's like being witty by being. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But uh, the My Scientology movie, he can't get into the group obviously because it's like very you know protected. Mm. And so instead of that, he gets people. What's going on over there? Oh no, no, no! I was like, I was. The thing is, like, I only just realized that because like, I, I basically just set up this air <laughs> the conditioner. The engine. Yeah. I'm so sorry for like derailing. No, but I, oh, I, I was looking at because like I realized that the air conditioner wasn't working that well before. <laughs> okay. And it was so that's why I started like Viewers, taping up. Let's all get the my cracks. dad. Let's call my dad. Yeah. Um, he would love this. Yeah. Story. He knows this perfectly. <laughs> and I realized that like the curtain is flapping, and I'm like, oh, I need to seal this. Viewers, better. feast your eyes on this air conditioner. <laughs> this is the kind of story universal appeal. <laughs> I know what that's like though. Like when I get a new thing in yeah. my apartment, my attention's like on it too much. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. It's I know just you a mean. Table. Yeah, it's like okay, because you're kind of like, is that mm-hmm. where it goes? Is that? I'm also so easily yeah. distracted. It's uh, bad. Me too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do but, we all have undiagnosed ADHD? I think yeah, I might. I've, yeah, I've I been do. thinking about it more and more and more. Have you I, ever been like interviewed, about evaluated, or evaluated? Um, I've. It's interesting. <laughs> my. I brought it up with my therapist. I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of interested. Like, do you think this would be a good idea? Like maybe getting evaluated before. And she, she was, she literally just, just like, do you think that would help you though? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> m- maybe she was like, I don't know. That's tea. 
Yeah. 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 I had that same thought before at some point. Like, if I had it, what am I going to do? I don't want to take drugs, really. Yeah, nor yeah. do I. I don't want yeah. I don't want to, like, get on a bus. Yeah. <sighs> I think my mom has it. Real? Oh, yeah. really? Sorry, I'm just outing my, my parents. She would never... She would never believe she had it, though. Say her name. Show her passport photo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Social security number? Yeah. 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 Do, you, do you have it? I probably do. Well, my sister thinks I have it. Um, but yeah, I'm like you. I'm like, what am I going to do about it? Like, mm. I already take drugs for other things, so I don't want to complicate the mess. And yeah. uh, I, Just because you're a cool guy. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm so cool. It doesn't, it doesn't negatively affect my life to the point that i think it does other people's lives mm. from what i've heard like i feel like I thought, I, I thought you meant for a second it doesn't affect me the way like my possible adhd affects other people like yeah, yeah. it affects them a lot but i don't give it bothers everyone else yeah. but to me i'm fine why does yeah. your sister think you have it because you annoy her sometimes or something i think it's because she watches too much tiktok oh. oh she watches these videos about like eight, she's also like a teacher, so she has identified behaviors in me that if she saw them as a student, she'd be like, that student has ADHD. <clears throat> um, but I think ultimately it's because she watches TikToks from like neurodivergent creators. Yeah. And mm. She also watches a lot of TikToks about like the moon and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with the moon these what's days? The moon, is, the moon, listen, the moon. Quirkiest of the bunch. She <laughs> is everywhere right now. She is monetizing on TikTok. <laughs> you know, people can talk to the moon. Apparently, I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, you should what try the, it sometime. What is the moon saying? A lot to them. <laughs> Nothing to me. The moon doesn't say it. The moon is silent when I'm around. Believe me. What is it saying to people? Like, I think it's like, you're going to have a good day or like, this is what's coming for you. Prosperity. I like, want the moon to be more divisive. Yeah. Yeah. I want the moon to whisper in your ear like, JFK's killer was Sarah Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, God. are there any conspiracy theories like you grew up Ooh. kind of believing maybe they were stoked by your family i was thinking about this recently oh uh, yeah not not necessarily stoked by my family part but remember when loose change came out what is that Wait, again? what oh how old are you again i <laughs> i'm 27 i'm 28 okay. Yeah. Oh, okay maybe that was like maybe something about that it was um it came out probably in 2005 or six Mm. And it was like okay. one of the first like big viral conspiracy theory documentaries made by these dudes who were like 20 or something. Mm -hmm. And they were like, they have that voice where it's like, you saw the how the towers, right? You saw that. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole the whole thing is like that. And they have all these like, I don't know, diagrams and stuff. And it was really popular at the time. Mm. Like everybody watched it and was talking about it. And I watched that. And it's just like any other any other like thing where there's like evidence of a conspiracy theory it's like you know it's all confirmation bias right and like yeah. not looking at the other side blah, blah blah but it was kind of fun to watch and i watched with my friends in college and we're like yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like none of us were actually really into it buying it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but we yeah. like talked about it a lot and had a lot of fun talking about it and like I don't know. Okay. Is yeah. that what jet fuel can't melt yeah, yeah, still yeah. beams can't? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what that is. Well, yeah. can I tell you, my uncle uh, <laughs> is so deep in that theory. Oh, really? And uh, there was one time that uh, I had friends staying with me at my mom's uh, house, and... I had two friends over and he just ranted at them for 20 minutes mm -hmm. about like how you could see the explosions going up up the building and then it came crashing down exactly yeah. like it was like a, a demolition site. Yeah. And uh, they were all like, God damn, he's fucking right. They were like, yeah. they were just, they were so just like in with him. He's I a very a, charismatic dude. Yeah. I somehow attract people in my life who are very genuinely into these conspiracies oh, oh yeah. yeah it's like they think that i am one of them <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what i'm giving off but this happens to me like constantly i think it's because um, you have engaged eyes yes you do ah that's very true <laughs> people can project that you're really listening to their crazy is it that shit. they're big you, so i'm like maybe interested <laughs> <laughs> God, maybe that's why I invite things often that I like don't want around me. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. 
That's that's funny. I gotta like. I was <laughs> I was telling Gabby a while ago how I, I sort of always, not kind of always attracted crazies. Mm. Like they just I find them and yeah. then, and then I talk. Lucas, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> that's fucking bad. <laughs> I think I indulge them too because I'm. Yeah. I like hearing how they think and what they have to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not on board. I'm just like keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you gonna say though? Oh no, know? um. No, I was going to say there are just like a lot of odd things, like odd things from my life where people just got, it sounds like people have told me that my life sounds like a cartoon sometimes. <laughs> like I, I once told people how like my, my bus driver that took me to my prom and my after prom, uh, like masturbated on the bus and we caught him. Whoa. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, someone, cause when I was talking about impressions on a friend of mine's podcast, and he was like, where did you like start doing impressions? I was like, well, I was taught how to do Donald Duck by an architect named Clark in upstate New York who had a ponytail and grew potatoes. Like My grandpa used to do Donald Duck. Really? Yeah. Did he good. ever teach you? No, I used to try, but I couldn't. Oh. I like, no. No, wait, do it good. again. Do it again. You're so close. You're so close. <laughs> All right. I know what this is, but I'll do it again. <laughs> do it. <laughs> 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 I won't make be, you do it again. I won't make you do it again. You're looking at Mike like you're afraid of it. Sorry, I won't force it's you. I won't force you. You're like, fuck, is it recording? I'm everywhere. All right, ready? Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I don't know what he did with his mouth. But, you're doing um, great. No, you're doing great. You're I do great. have one impression. I did this Ooh, on Max's what is it? pod. <gasps> what it's, is it? Uh, well, you tell me what it is. Okay, 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 okay. All okay, right? Ha! Oh, maybe it's not that good. It's, it's, it's um, it's a bird. Well, yeah, it's, it's a bird. A crow. Whoa! Oh, okay, my, uh, I got it right. My friend's my friend's yeah. dad used to do it all the time. And oh, that's good. It's not that hard, really. Yeah. <laughs> I do a pretty good Anna Delvey. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, really? yeah. Let's hear it. I am running a business. What really are you so dramatic? The why is coming. <laughs> Wait, that's I don't great. know who Anna Delvey is. Oh come on. Oh. I, I'm sorry. You didn't watch Inventing Anna. No, I oh that yeah. Anna. Oh, okay. She was amazing. Yeah, I still yeah. haven't seen it. I did see the Tinder swindler though, and that was spectacular. I didn't see the Tinder swindler. Oh, it's I think I so put it on and didn't given, really watch it. Would you have given him money, the Tinder swindler? Well, I've been scammed pretty badly before, and uh, I don't usually talk about it because it sucked. And yeah, I, it's it hell. feels oh, okay. so stupid. <laughs> no. Wait, can I can You're I tell not you? The first. Can yeah, I tell you? I got scammed only a few months ago. <laughs> yeah. And oh I nearly God, I, I nearly had a th I nearly lost a thousand dollars, but my bank saved me. Ah, oh, what happened? The what gist. Happened? I'm sure you're tired of talking about it. Oh no no no! I'm not oh, okay. I'm not tired at all. But it maybe will help some people, as your experience might help yeah. some people. Um. But what happened was I, I got called up by people saying. Uh, your electricity is about to be turned off. We've been trying to reach you and uh, like you haven't paid. And so like there's someone who's like about to turn off your yeah. electricity unless you pay us as a matter. And I was like I trying to do it. calls like that. Yeah. And I, I would have believed them probably. Well, if here's you the thing is that scammed before yourself. My, yeah, 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 now I just don't even. Well, if it's of any kind solid, I totally fell for it. And I tried to pay them on Zelle. <laughs> 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 but then my bank shut down my account. They were like, this is suspicious. We're not yeah. going to put this through. And so I went, I They're ran like, down to my being weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice any, I didn't notice any of the red flags. Huh. I, I was, I fully, Do I was you, drinking. What were the red flags, you know, now looking back? Well, now I know that, well, first off, urgency is when mm -hmm. they, they try to make it urgent so that yeah. you don't yeah. have time to think and then like, you, you operate. 10 just, minutes, we exactly. Yeah. Just like when it's vague and kind of makes no sense. Yeah. 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 yeah when yeah. it's yeah. like, this thing is about to happen right now, so we need this highly specific amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I, I went down to my bank, and they were like, "Oh, you know, this is a scam." And uh, and th and then he like gave me just like a couple reasons why I was like, "Oh shit!" And I just felt so. <laughs> and then he sort of like played therapist for me. He was like, Aww. "No, you gotta understand. No, this happens to a lot of people. Like, yeah. there he's like, there are people that work at this bank that are way more knowledgeable and older than you. They've fallen for worse." Yeah. And uh, I was like, "Oh." That's cool. Yeah. Uh, and, and they then, get um, so clever yeah. with the scams. They yeah, really they, are they good. Real clever about it. And then it, what yeah. was? But what was cool is that afterwards, um, like this dude gave me a number to call him back. Mm -hmm. He was like, "All right, when you're ready to pay, just call me back." And I and I called him back. I was like, "I'm ready to pay." He was like, "Great." And I was like, "A uh, quick question: What's my account number?" <laughs> and then he just hang. And then he just hung up on me. And I was like, oh. "Yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. one." Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, Man. shout out to Chase Bank. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think, well, maybe that's another reason what a good bait. that we Jeez. attract uh, people like conspiracy theorists and stuff because we're yeah. like, I don't know. I'm too trusting sometimes. I am. I, I am very gullible. You're... Do you find that oh advertisements, commercials work really well? And you're like, God damn, I need that. Like, no, that way. That oh. like that, that type of thing. On me. But yeah. I'm very, I, I buy in. I'm like, oh, that list looks like something I need. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm one of those. Yeah. I don't really do that. I don't know why. Yeah. But hmm. wait, are you too trusting or are you like the opposite? <sighs> um, I I am too trusting, I think. But I've been burned. Yeah. yeah. Baby, I've been burned. Um, I, I am a little too like a... I, I've I've almost been scammed. I like when I when I invested uh thirty dollars in cryptocurrency right as the market crashed because my friend yeah. told me to do it uh Aww. and I said okay. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, looked away like you were the friend. And yeah, you're like, yeah. Lucas, Aww. yeah. When <laughs> when somebody told me to put all of my money in <laughs> Ethereum. <laughs> Yeah, oh, look yeah. at the time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had like a woman call me and be like, your Coinbase account is like being hacked into. And so we need like your your social right now. And I, for some reason, chose Your to... social handle? Hip Soccer Mom. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, follow me on Hip Soccer Mom. I'm putting out new clips. Um, I don't know. I was like, so how is this going to impact my Coinbase account? And the woman didn't hang up on me. She just went, um... Um, well, you see, well, you see, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, we need this information now. I was like, well, I have to go to a meeting, which is true. <laughs> I did have to go to a meeting. Like, can we do it later? And she was like, um, well, you see, <laughs> oh my God. was that her first time? She was like, open. I biking. think she was. Yeah, it was like her first spot. You know, Aww. you know, you get nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. she was trying. And then you always she remember your first. And then yeah. she was on the phone with me and she was like, so I'm on the apps. <laughs> Did she actually say that? No. Oh, okay, not. okay. <laughs> she's just a cool up-and-comer comedian. And she's Something I, I wanted to ask you about was uh, when did you start first being interested in doing stand-up? Where was that push? Oh, my answer is always different to this. Are you, um, what, are you, what are you, lying? I don't know who I am. <laughs> no, no, no. Conspiracy! No. Which, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I just think like, I think I've always been into it. Probably both of you have always been into it in some mm. way, right? In some way. Yeah. So I could be like, yeah, it started. Me and my friend used to watch stand up all the mm. time in, in high school together. And like, who'd you, who'd you watch? Uh, just whoever was on TV. So it's mm. usually like Chappelle, oh, yeah. Chris Rock. Yeah. 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 Um, and we watched Conan all the time. Yeah. The show. Saturday Night Live, we were making our own skits over the weekend. Oh, oh that's so awesome. Yeah, God. it was so fun. Uh, they're all horrible. And, like, I made the mistake of showing them recent <laughs> recently. Wait, well, are they like, online on some media? I won't no, ask you to share I them. I will never. I should, like, remove it from my computer somehow just in case, some <laughs> like, I accidentally up <laughs> upload it. Oh. But, no, I was, like, seeing this guy who I'm now really good friends with, actually. Okay. Like, years ago. Yeah. And I was telling him about it. And then, like... <laughs> I was like, yeah, I have, I have a copy. Let's go watch it. And uh, I put it on and was like, this is a huge mistake. We didn't break up because of that. That would be, oh. I mean, that'd be fucked up. But I was so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> I think, no, I can imagine if I was with someone who like who showed me something like that, I would find it so endearing. Even if it was like dog so shit, cute. it yeah. would be so endearing. That's how it I would so feel We all made bad, do you remember any of the sketches? Like off, like the premises? <laughs> Obviously we don't need the full thing. <laughs> none, of, none of them made any sense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> even better, even Deep better. Dive. Oh, I'm so in, I'm so in. Please go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tears are welling up again. One of them, I'm trying to remember how they actually went because they really didn't make sense. <laughs> but, <laughs> but like one of them was just some guy at a bar and I was the guy and I was very convincingly looked like a dude. I like put stubble on with like a oh, mascara yeah. and stuff. Oh, and I yeah, tied yeah, my yeah. hair back and I like low nice. pony. Yeah. And I looked like, uh, I looked creepy. I looked really <laughs> creepy. I had this like big jean jacket on. Not that that's creepy, but if you just. Maybe how I should show it to you. Maybe. Yeah, I definitely if if, see if you're it, comfortable, yeah. I would so be down. To, wait, how old are you at this time? Um, I guess we're like 14, 15. Okay, probably cool. 15. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think we could, could drive yet. Okay. We couldn't drive yet because I remember one of the sketches. We had to get in the car 
and we couldn't actually drive you it. You couldn't so drive it. Just, <laughs> so you're just miming? I just backed it down our like garage thing. Like, like in a, like... a Rebecca Black's video. Where oh, yeah, where they're 13 <laughs> yeah. and driving a car yeah. to and school. And they're like yeah. standing in the car. Do you remember that? I loved yeah. that video. They're standing in oh, the car. Oh, yeah, that was a good video. Oh, yeah. But because I couldn't drive, like, and I was nervous about this one scene where I had to just back out of a driveway. Yeah. I went so slow. Like, it was like, we were supposed to be, like, cool, like these girls that are going clubbing or something in this sketch. Great sketch. (laughs) Great sketch. (laughs) Great. I kind of get in the car, and I, like, back down so, so slowly. Like, it just wasn't, it wasn't cool, you know? Oh. I like the, I like the idea that that's the sketch. That could be the We're sketch. Just going You're to all the club. cool, girl. That's actually that's but, actually better than whatever it was you supposed can't to drive. be. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh these cool God. girls, and then I'm just like this nervous driver <laughs> <laughs> all the way to the club. Okay. Oh, he's so crash. He's so crash. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, one of them was um, just like me hitting on somebody by throwing a dime at her, and I was like, I don't know why my friends thought this was so. My friend and I thought this was so Just funny. Just throwing change. Loose like change. I wrote my phone number on the dime and then I'm like, numbers on the dime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why we thought that was funny, but like. Wait, that is we actually thought it was, really funny. We, th- <laughs> we thought it was. Just writing. <laughs> we thought it was so funny for some reason. And like, we were like, oh yeah, it's going to be so good. And then my little brother played one of the <laughs> characters. <laughs> Oh, I should show him that. He would get, he would get a kick out of that. That's a, wait, that's a Number real... On the di- numbers on the dime. And that's all it was. And then I just yeah. threw a dime at her and was like... I think it is funny. I that's, think it's for this world. I genuinely think that's you funny. You start hitting on her with increasingly smaller objects. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a thimble. And then another, another one of them was like... <laughs> it's just... It's just me... D- I had a strobe light, so we're like, let's use the strobe light. Yeah, so it was yeah. just me dancing in a room, like really bizarrely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then it stops. You know those infomercials that are about like people getting hurt or whatever. But anyway, it stops, and it's like, oh, like have you fa- <laughs> have you fallen? You need to get like life alert, or like kind of like yeah, okay. yeah, like the woman falls down the stairs. Yeah, she's help! Like, I've fallen and I can't yeah. get yeah. up. Yeah, so I'm dancing, and then it stops, and my friend walks in a door, and she's like, hey. Do you know anybody who's, who's ever died dancing <laughs> or something like that? And then it gives a bunch. She gave a bunch of stats about the number of people who die dancing. Oh, that's right. Because in the also in it, I like fell on the floor and started like twitching and oh. <laughs> And then and then uh, she keeps coming in the room every time there's like a new scene. She re-enters. <laughs> it's like really ridiculous. And eventually, she's like. If you know somebody who's died dancing, <laughs> <laughs> call the number, call this number. And then, it, you know, it's normally the bottom of the screen. Where she was like, call this number written on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> it was so stupid. <clears throat> Just didn't make any sense. And then yes, we, had, we, had, we, had, we had like a, we had like weekend update type yeah oh, yeah. oh, oh my god, god. Uh, about the Please. news and they the were just like today we didn't like write those we were just like let's just talk we know what we're doing we're comics <laughs> <laughs> if and, weekend update was just people chatting yeah so <laughs> it was, it was just, just a like, long podcast we would just pull like a book off the shelf and it was like danielle Steele was like new novel or something and we d- didn't have anything to say about it. It was like such a bad sketch. <laughs> and then another one, I just I pulled up like amazing. a I pulled up like a dollar bill. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's new in money? <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't have a plan, so we were just like bringing up objects and talking about objects. <laughs> <laughs> I was like George W. Bush. I don't. And, but I actually just made the mistake. George W. Bush. Yeah, I don't know. It's just. <laughs> Um, we had this one about Osama bin Laden. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Um, Talk it was about like it. an interview. She was supposed to be like Barbara Walters. Okay. <laughs> Wait, were you Osama bin Laden? <laughs> Cancel her! Cancel her! <laughs> it was just me and one <gasps> friend. We didn't. We didn't have. We didn't have any options. But um, at some point, I like try and kill Barbara Walters. Uh, <laughs> With a banana. <laughs> One of the most masterful uh, villains of all time. <laughs> oh he can kill God. with any fruit. He's the fruit ninja. And then there was a song at the end. Oh, baby, do you remember the song? 
sing it, I, do ooh, it. I don't know if I should sing it, though. Sing it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please. Um, okay. You got this. It went, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. I can't believe I'm just, I just told, I just said how, like, oh, I should never have shown these sketches to anybody. And now I'm just describing them. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> All right. The song went... <clears throat> Bin Laden, the man of the hour. <laughs> Bin Laden, he shot down our tower. Okay, I am going to be canceled. <laughs> but we were like 15. We just thought like it was so funny. It also wasn't that long after. Like at the time, like it was completely inappropriate. It's still inappropriate, but at the it time was, it was you like, were like, this is too soon, but we're going for it. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Oh. <laughs> it's a good song, though. It's a banger wow. that goes. <laughs> Bin Laden, oh, my the man of the hour. hour. Bin Laden, he shot down a tower. tower. <laughs> my dad really liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you showed your parents? <laughs> showed, we showed my parents. We showed these boys in high school that we really liked. <laughs> Wait, what, what, did they, were they like into you afterwards or? They were into us before. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they were like, wait a fucking minute. Oh, oh God, I hate crying. that shit. The like, <laughs> oh, God. The like, I'm not into you anymore because you're too funny. Yeah. yeah. Where are they I now? I mean, I think we were yeah. just weird. Where are they now? Um, I don't I know. I think we would have been friends Although I looked somebody up the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How are they doing in um, life? Well, Maybe I could tell the story because I'm actually I'm trying to work on this Ooh. story. It's oh, not okay, like, okay, okay. It's not yeah, tell it. built into bits, but okay, okay. It might be someday. Um, you know how like uh, actually I won't even set it up at all. Okay, I was in, I was like eight years old, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I was um, I was sick. I woke up sick, but my parents didn't believe me. Okay. They I don't know why, but they always thought I was like lying about stuff. They still think that about me. Okay. <laughs> Even though I've got these trusty eyes. You got yeah. trusty yeah. eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the conspiracy is that you are lying. And then yeah. because you have the trusty eyes, yeah. you're like, wait, I am yeah, yeah, lying. Yeah, your I'm parents like, are I'm Brittany. For real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. real. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was like, I'm sick. And then they made me go to school anyway. And I get into my first class. And uh, that was like a class where the first 10 minutes of the day, they want, the teacher wanted us to like journal. So we're all sitting at our desks. It's silent. Everybody's like journaling, but I'm not. I'm like so sick. I'm just like not doing anything. And my teacher notices immediately. She's like, she's like, you look like shit. <laughs> no, she's like, Brittany, are you okay? Like, what's wrong? And I was like, I'm sick. And then, so then I called my dad. Uh, and the phone was just like in the classroom, like by the entrance or whatever. Mm. And before. He, he was like, hello, or whatever, before he, but before I could be like, hey, it's Brittany, I just, like, started vomiting all <laughs> over the phone. Oh. And, like, the entrance to the classroom. And every kid turned around. Of course. And was watching me. And then they put that, like, sawdust. You know that sawdust they used to cover your vomit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I remember, God. like, that part really stands out at me for some reason in this memory. Because it I feels like yeah. shaming. It feels like shaming, and it... Smell, it has its own gross smell and yeah. the mixture's terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's also that it only has that purpose. So <laughs> yes. it's so visceral because it's so particular. And you've seen it happen to other kids. Right. And it's like, you don't yeah, want yeah, that to yeah. happen to you. And then now you're getting the sawdust. Oh, so God. Who's the person in the factory grinding the sawdust for kid yeah. vomit? <laughs> yeah. It's its own thing. Where do yeah. you even buy that? Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty Can sure. Can I get you some just... of that kid vomit sawdust? <laughs> <laughs> the kid vomit sawdust. <laughs> but. So there's a point where this gets to the guy that I looked up eventually, mm. right? Um, but anyway, I remember being on the way home from that. My dad picked me up, and he was like, I was really upset and embarrassed. And he was, like, telling me that I don't need to be upset because, like, or embarrassed because, like, nobody's going to nobody's gonna remember. They're not thinking about this. It's not as important to you, them as it is to you. Mm. No one's going to be thinking about it. They won't know it. Famous last words. That won't words. be part of their childhood memory or anything. <laughs> And then I went to uh, the lake, like, with a friend. This is, like, in high school mm. or maybe late middle school. And this is so, like, 
the thing is, I forgive me for interrupting, but this is like so like a classic like American like high school story. Like, yeah, we'll go to the lake. Like, <laughs> I grew up in New York. We didn't have a lake. Yeah, I'm just like, God damn, this is like. I it, do. I really miss all that stuff. We had a oh. sewer. Yeah. We all swam And we in. were grateful for the sewer. Called <laughs> Times Square. It's called the Times Square Olive Garden. Did you grow up here? I did. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I swam in the uh, Times Square Olive Garden cream soup. Very cool. Yeah. 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 Oh, is this a ratatouille thing? Yeah, yeah. It's like got that. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got Just it. Just like ratatouille. My ears. movie memory is so bad. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if that, that even... happens in the movie, but oh yeah, oh. it does. The rat swims in the soup. Yeah, and he oh, likes okay. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so you're at the Wait, lake. So, okay, you're at the so lake. then I go to the lake with my friend and we're like going through puberty and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So you already you like hate yourself, but you like really want to look hot. Yes. And there are all these like things that need to happen for you to like have self esteem. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's so much going on. And we're like in our bikinis and we're like boys you know like that's why we went to the lake because we just want to like meet boys but yeah. we never did we never talked to anybody we would just go <laughs> and <laughs> but then that day this guy came up to us and it was this dude randy fryer that's not his real last name but it's very <laughs> close it's okay. actually only one letter off <laughs> <laughs> Randy names Fire. Names to protect the innocent. <laughs> yeah. I gotta start changing names. I mean, he didn't do anything bad. It's not. It's fine. But um, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. So what happened next? So though? he comes up to us, and we got so excited because this <gasps> is a guy that like we were already obsessed with oh, and had a crush yeah. on, and like so much that okay, he lived on this one short street in this like area that we lived or whatever, and we called it Skater Boy Lane. Because Randy was there and like this other group of like skater dudes. Yeah. And we'd walk past it all the time and like hope that they would like notice us. <laughs> and so we'd already been like watching him from afar. And then he comes up and wants to hang out with us. So we're like, oh my God. Like we're like super excited. Yeah. And then like not even that long into the hang, he's like, oh, Brittany, Brittany Cardwell. Yeah, you're that girl who threw up on the phone. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. And he poured the vomit sawdust on your head. Yeah. yeah. No, and then, like, so already, already, I'm like, oh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. And then he, like, then he, like, explained what he remembered to me. Oh. And it was in, like, so much detail that it was, like, clear that he thought about it a lot, you know? Oh, my God. It was, like, more detail than my own. <laughs> my own memory of what happened so he remembered it crystal clear oh yeah so the thing like parents tell you about Your parents it. tell you about it, it's not true no people oh. remember yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did you feel like, hearing him remember the whole thing i was devastated because <laughs> oh, i was like he was walking up to us and i was like he's gonna be my boyfriend <laughs> oh. um but yeah so i i was thinking about that story the other day because oh. i want to like try and write it somehow yeah um I'm and just imagining like what he would have thought like approaching you like, oh, this is going to be great. She's going to talk about the time she threw up in everyone. She's going to love this. She's like, going to be so cool about it. She's going to love talking about memory. this experience. That's why he like came up. He's like, there's Brittany Cardwell. Oh. Also, this was in the time of pay phones. No. no. Was it? This oh. Was a, wait, pay phones. Oh. It, was, it was just a classroom phone, like a dial or whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I mean, okay, I think okay. it wasn't a rotary though. It was like numbers. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, it was okay. numbers. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. some, some people don't know the landline. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They got rid of the last payphone here, right? They I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Landline. Where? Uh, it was in the Bronx or something? I, I believe remember. so. Yeah. Mm. I, it's a sad day, I think. I mean, I have yeah. not used a payphone in many moons. I but. know. I miss like the ritual of the payphone, you know, putting in the quarter. There's like, there's something cool about Calling it. Calling your friend in jail. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was a time limit, right? Yes. So there was yeah, like and then anxiety you, had to put more, about... you had to put more money in. Yeah. yeah you had to get so you to really the had to get it all out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to confess your love, you had to do it right there on the yeah. phone. Yeah. Now people send me like, like audio notes that have no point. It'll be like, yeah, it'll yeah. be like two minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, there's nothing in this. <laughs> yeah. I like when people send me a voice note that's really narrative structure start to finish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like, I like hearing that. And sometimes, listen. I'll send them back. Mm -hmm. I only just figured out how to send like invisible ink with uh, and a text with my iPhone. That was a big day for me. Yeah. What did you send in there? 
What, what did I say? Yeah, what are you said, putting there? Whoops. Secret. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I just said boobs. Secret, yeah. Yeah. Boobs. Yeah. 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 Wait, so yeah. this dude, Randy. Yes. I looked him up because oh, I was yeah. like, oh, maybe this will help me like write the bit. I'll yes. see what he's doing now. And I didn't I didn't do this for a long time because it was late at night. Yeah. But I found him and he was wearing a like a Budweiser beanie. Cool. Classic. Cool. And all his Facebook posts were either about COVID not being real, or they were like oh, deleted, well it's not. or they were like censored or whatever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. God. So, so he's the one that got away. He's yeah. the one that got away. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Man, he was Damn. really he was a very funny kid too. That is a that's a rough one. That's a yeah. I will I will tell you uh, a very bad sort of like me being interested in someone in high school and it just not working out very catastrophically. Uh, is the, it the call me? Yes, it's the. Oh, I, yeah. I think I've already said it on the. I've already said it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some. I mean, some. Okay, of, very it's briefly. Very funny. There was a, a girl I was interested in that. Um, she asked me once, like, "Oh, what did you do this weekend?" I was like, "No, nah, not that much. It was kind of boring." And she was like, "Call me." And I was like, "Oh, okay." And then she gives me her number, and then I text her. I get no response. Next day, no response. Then the following day, third day, we have class together again, and I'm like, "Hey, uh, I texted you. I didn't really get a response. Uh, is everything okay?" And she was like, "Wait, show me." show me your phone and she and then i took out my phone she was like oh when i put in my number in your phone i accidentally put in the wrong digit here's my correct number and i was like oh sick this is gonna work yeah. out now next day she has a boyfriend oh <laughs> whoa so the yeah. missing just, digit was the boyfriend <clears throat> was she just like doing that to everybody and i don't know she's like let's see who texts me first do you want to know my theory on it what I is feel your like, theory uh, you know as a teenage when you're a teenage girl it's a lot of fun to just like do things you see in the movies yeah mm. so i feel like that was what she, she was like oh call yeah call me 1-800 get real 1-800 <laughs> no thanks <laughs> yeah oh, there yeah. was this megan trainer song that came out a few years ago <laughs> do you remember this it was like my name is no my oh sign yes is i like no. that song yeah my my name oh. is no. My I don't know how I feel about no. it. I'm uh, like, you know what? Oh, Sometimes it's know, okay to introduce one. yourself <laughs> <laughs> to people. You don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. No, good for you though. Like going for it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she was the well. She was the one that really sort of like made the because I was I was petrified at the idea of like putting myself out there. Yeah. And, and so like the fact that she at least I thought was like making yeah. that first move. I was like, oh, she's this probably is with yeah. she's probably with Randy now. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. You know, if Randy has a girlfriend now. He has a wife and kids. Holy yep. criminy. Mm -hmm. I also found that out. Yeah. Um, but I was just gonna I was just thinking about how wait, was she like was she like very popular and like a lot of people were interested in her? I don't remember she wasn't like someone in my like I was like a theater kid and she was not a theater kid. She was just yeah. someone I had classes with, but uh, she was very beautiful. Yeah. And so I can imagine like a lot of people yeah. were interested in her. Yeah. Because I was thinking the other hypothesis is like at that time, I feel like lots of girls just want a boyfriend. You know? Yes, yeah, true. Like yeah, true. when I was in high school, I didn't have a boyfriend until my senior year, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was not good. But I was just like, yeah, I have a boyfriend now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, like I, I would have, yeah. not that you're anybody, but like maybe she was just like, okay, I'm getting a boyfriend. I'm gonna, you can like, drive a stick into my heart. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's nothing I, special about you, Lucas. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, just you when you want a bland, generic boyfriend. Yeah. Well, I'll yeah, tell maybe you, she was yeah. like doing it to lots of people. As maybe well. very yeah, possible. Very possible. Was like I gotta yeah. get this done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, that yeah. other guy showed up more quickly. Yeah. yeah. He gave she gave her the right, the right number or something. I know oh what yeah. You mean absolutely. even when yeah. I had a college <clears throat> boyfriend, I wasn't even really into men. I liked telling people <laughs> like my boyfriend. It makes you sound yeah. so twee, like a little princess when my you say, uh, oh, yeah, my, my big, strong boyfriend. My boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you sound like Rapunzel or something. Yeah. 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 Did you like being that sort of like role? Like this is my, this is yes, my, yeah. I did. I never get femmed up that way. You know, I'm never like the boyfriend girl. You know, yeah. I like to have like a little like, you know, sometimes I like being little spoon there. I'll say it. <laughs> I think the, everyone likes the being the little spoon media occasionally. Yeah. Doesn't Who doesn't want you to know? There's only held. people who are insecure that don't like it because they're like, I'm supposed to be uh, like guys yeah. who think they're supposed to be. Do you yeah. do you spoon your boyfriends? Sometimes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Any any connection is good. <laughs> 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 anything <laughs> yeah. um my oh. first boyfriend wait how was your first boyfriend he was uh, uh you know 
he was pretty okay here's a story i found out after i broke up with him like years after i went to a party with these guys who knew him in high school yeah and they were like oh that kid he used to carry a soccer ball around every day and he didn't play soccer <laughs> <laughs> what did he do he just he would just carry it, was com- it with comforting like, like a stuffed animal yeah yeah he just he would like carry it around like his Weird. little this is adam <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he like used it like jeff dunham like made voices yeah was this around the time of castaway um no uh very good wasn't question. that in the 80s or was uh, it the 2000s no, that was wait, the ni- wait, late 90s i, I feel think. like i actually think castaway was in the year 2000 yeah, i think maybe. that's when it came out I don't think that's what I mean. That would be such a funnier reason. Let me look it up. Jamie, pull that up. Jamie, pull that would be up. such a funnier reason. I think he just—he was like, "This is normal." Yeah, he <laughs> just wanted to like be real masculine. Yeah, he he had a tough time with like certain masculinity things. I think it was hard for me. Suck it, year two thousand. I, yeah, I nailed nice. it. Yeah, he like wouldn't bring up his emotions, and then he would clearly get upset uh, and oh, i'd be like are good. you okay and he'd say yeah a bunch of times i'd be like you're not okay yeah. and then eventually he'd be like no I'm not and tell me why it's just oh it just drove me crazy i was like get to the fucking point <sighs> yeah yeah that's bad one of those boy things i feel yeah. like yeah so your first boyfriend what was he like he my first boy <laughs> he was in a like a like a death metal band or something okay which- which was like, it's fine. I like some of that type of like music, but I mean, actually, I don't know if it's only because I sort of was exposed to it early or something. Now I'm yeah. making it sound like it's really like a problem, like an early exposure to something as a kid. Yeah. Now yeah. there's something wrong with you. Like I guess I'm listening to death metal. But anyway, we like, he was so into it. Yeah. And he was also just not a good boyfriend at all. No. Like we'd be out. We used to go to Denny's all the time and just Those hash drink browns. coffee. Of course. Totally and cool. I'd yeah. get toast or something. Classic. <laughs> to- who would it- and I'd be trying to tell him about my day and he would just be like drumming on his chest. He'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> was he Tarzan? <laughs> he was oh a drummer God. in the in the band that he was in. I would hope he just, so. He could never so not weird. be drumming. He was doing it constantly. Well, oh that's like God. the soccer kid. He never yeah. couldn't be holding the. T- Man, wow. These yeah. guys and their hobbies. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Your hands just can't be empty. As a man, your hands just you just need something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he was like not that nice to me. So, you know. Ooh, yeah. We that hate sucks. him. But I was like, at least I have a boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. My boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My boyfriend just has like I am the little spoon energy to yeah. it, doesn't it? Like when I say my girlfriend, I feel like it's it's not who's the man, who's the woman. It's like a guess as to who's the little spoon. Mm. And I don't like having that uncertainty in the air sometimes. I'm are not... you are you the little spoon or the big spoon? Um, okay, so we alternate. So in, yeah. at night, so you're I, a switch. I'm a switch. Yeah, mm. I'm verse. Uh, <laughs> at night, at night, I am the big spoon. You're like and a that... spoon, but if it was a reversible jacket, and it's both of you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly you're a sport. what it is. <laughs> you're a sport. We're both very wearable. What? You know, we're both very wearable. Man, what happened to reversible jackets? No one's talking about this. We got to bring them back. Yeah. You think they they have them at Claire's? I, I once, for <laughs> a night, a friend let me their reversible jacket. Mm. And that was that was a big thrill. That man. was great. That was the, his biggest moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I became a man. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and find a reversible jacket. Yeah, they, they're got to be out there. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> they're <laughs> acting like they don't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's always one side you don't really like, though. So yeah. then it's not even a reversible jacket. Yeah, you just it's leave it. the insane. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Bummer. Um, well, we should probably get to listener submissions. I think it's but, indeed oh, the right yeah. thing to do. One more thing to ask you was, um, did you ever do any stand-up in New Zealand? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never answered the stand-up question. But oh, yes, I think yeah. we probably got a lot out of that SNL. Oh, my God. Oh, it was there's a lot there. There was I mean, a lot there. Lot there. I think that's Jesus. how you got into stand-up. That answered <laughs> yeah, the question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think oh, for Laden sure. Song yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there the was a start going on there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And I was like, no, oh, you got to be serious and like go to school to be a doctor. I wanted to be a doctor for a while. Mm. And then I didn't like biology class that much. Right. And I was taking psychology and I liked that. I'm making this way, like, way shorter. But um, one of my psychology professors was so funny. Like every time I went to the class, it felt like I was watching stand up. Like a lot of it was learning, but he was like so goofy. Yep. And I loved that so much. And then I started working with him. I was like, oh, that's what I want to do, I think. 
But I thought I was like, oh, I want to be a teacher or a professor. Yeah. I, I think know exactly I, what you mean. There yeah. is always one teacher that's so good <laughs> yeah. because they just imbue so much personality in yes. the subject. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. And I think that's what I wanted, but I didn't see it that way. Right. And then I ended up yeah. doing research for a long time. Then it happened again. My next supervisor was the same type of person. Like, so engaging, super funny, also really smart, obviously. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go work with her now. She's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that. And uh, and then I started doing stand-up as a New Year's resolution awesome. in New Zealand. That's awesome. I was dating this guy. How did you end up in New Zealand? Because my, uh, my graduate supervisor lives out there. Okay. And I met her at a conference in Washington State. No, in Canada, actually. Okay. And that's where she was funny. She was giving the keynote. Oh, yeah. And she was, like, doing the work I was interested in. So I was like... I'm going to go. <laughs> I like moved for her basically. Wow. Which sounds, I was like 22 as well. Damn. Um, but uh, what was I saying? So you got to New Zealand and oh, then yeah, New Year's New resolution. Zealand. New Year's resolution. I was dating this guy uh -huh. for a long time. Great guy. Very good. I'm not going to name him even though he's a great guy. <laughs> oh. um, Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Um, Michelle's going to come after you if you name him. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be Which fine. Which we already did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I had broken up with him because I like didn't know what I wanted and stuff. Sure. And we'd been dating for several years. So it was Whoa. like pretty serious. And I had like tra I was in Canada for work. I was coming back. I had already told him like I wanted him back, but he started seeing somebody else. So I was like devastated. <sighs> and I was going back to New Zealand and I was like, I cannot go back there and just think about this dude like only and all I do is work and I need like a life <laughs> so I was like oh I'm gonna my resolution is to get some hobbies it sounds so boring but I was like I'm gonna try stand up I'm gonna try improv I don't know why I chose those but I was like those are the things I'm gonna try this year oh, that's perfect that's wonderful yeah, yeah. Improv also was... I don't think it's cringe to go hey I need hobbies no I'm gonna try out stuff. I really needed to yeah. put something that is in my life. no that is the healthiest thing <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. That's what so did you good. think yeah. of improv it was okay, but yeah. I just, like, I kind of had fun, but it didn't feel like me, really. Mm. I felt the same way with it. I was not yeah. very good at it because I wanted to control the situation Same. I was yeah. controlling. Yeah, yeah. Which I, I think was. is why I like stand-up, probably. I, I'm oh. exactly the same. That's yeah. why I like singles tennis, too. Oh, oh. do yeah. you? Yeah. I think yeah. I like uh, independent-type sports. As right. Well. Inter I, like, I do like team sports. I mean, as we know, I do play on a softball league. In, ah. Yeah, in Brooklyn, New York. Where oh, where this do you one play? right here, yeah. Um, the Prospect Park Parade Grounds. Oh my God! I won't reveal if that's close or far to where I live. Yeah, according to Me Lucas. Either. Yeah, I won't reveal. <laughs> I mean, you can talk about how close time. it is to where you live. Wait, yeah, you should yeah. come. Do you play? Uh, no, but I live nearby. And like, oh my God, hell yeah! yeah. I've gone to watch. It's a fun time. Yeah. It's a it's fun. Great. You should definitely. And I was go talking about going to like a minor league game uh, with some friends. Oh, as well. we gotta go see a Cyclones yes. game. That would be so much fun. I'm fun. down to come join. Yeah. Yay, yeah. we just made plans. We made some plans. Oh, so nice. But so you're in New Zealand, and so oh, you start. Right. So I was like, I was like, ugh, this guy. And uh, we did eventually get back together, and Ooh, then I broke okay. up with him again for the same reasons. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <sighs> um. But yeah, so I started doing, a year went by. I had to do it that year as a resolution. And I went to a bunch of comedy shows mm. being like, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this year. Yep. And the final week of that year, I did it. So I, like, I really procrastinated. Um, and I didn't really think it was going to go anywhere like before I did it. But then that night, you know what it's like sometimes. Mm. At the time, it was the best night of my life. <laughs> It didn't go that well. Like, yeah. If I looked now, I'd be like, "Oh, that was pretty bad." But like, people laughed. It felt, no, it feels so good. I got yeah, that yeah, high, yeah, yeah. Mm, the, oh, like yeah. the high that you can get. I got that yeah. day. And then I was like, "Oh, okay. I guess I got to do this now." And yeah. It was so exciting, but it also sucked because I lived in Wellington initially, and that's where I tried stand up for the first time. But then a week after my first open mic, I was moving to this tiny town, Dunedin where there's not much going on. And so as soon as I like was trying to get into it, I was in a scene that had like five comics. There was like one open mic a month. It was like impossible to really like do it. I did as much as I could there. And then I ended up traveling to some other cities and doing a couple festivals and stuff. But it was like, as soon as I was like really interested in doing it and writing a lot, I got like frustrated because there was nothing to right. yeah. yeah. 
And, and then I moved you, to New York. Then you moved to New York. Yeah. Gotcha. What's the difference between co- like comics in New York and New Zealand? Like, is there a lot of material about New Zealand? Um, I don't, wouldn't say. Sp- there's so I many mean, Kiwi birds around. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more like uh, long form stuff, like oh, longer okay. stories. A lot of the humor, it tends to be pretty dry, kind of mm. like Flight of the Concords. Yeah. Oh, and cool. Yeah. It's either dry or like really silly, I feel okay. like. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Well, I think I know where we can find a broad spectrum of stuff that's either dry or very, very silly, which is our oh. listener submissions. <laughs> uh, do you want to read the first one? Oh, baby. And do you read through it entirely and then comment or comment as you go? We can comment as, as we <clears throat> go for okay. sure because one of them is unbelievably long. Uh, this time it's, it's something that I just saw your, is that John Hedrick? yelling yeah oh my god okay. <laughs> just in a shower yeah yeah um, um hi so obviously change the names for respect okay <laughs> but fe- <laughs> are you guys trying to teach me a lesson yeah. <laughs> this is a grammar lesson yeah <laughs> feel free to use whatever you would like this is just mm. some drama that happened to me a few months ago so my roommate molly i'm a college freshman and i got along fantastically for the first five months or so of college However, we had some minor issues where she wouldn't want to communicate problems she had to me, which resulted in her holding it back and it building up until she snapped at me. So in an effort to not have it happen because it would be stressful to me, I started trying to be very open and make it very clear that I wanted to hear issues so we could resolve them together. So I thought we were okay until she started doing it again, but around very stressful times, like when I was about to leave for an out-of-state fencing tournament, Okay, for my college, and she just please dis- ask me about the fencing. <laughs> yeah. like, what that I wanted to become like, and my love may broke, yeah. and I had to do an enchante. I think that's what it's called. Uh, then she decided to tell me I'm too confident and narcissistic, and it turns Whoa. her off to our friendship. Which really stressed me out a lot because throughout high school I was bullied heavily <laughs> and was finally getting to a point where I was truly happy with who I was and how I looked. Uh, So I got back from the tournament, and she decided to snap over something minor the night before my midterm. At this point, I felt like maybe I should talk to her about this because I was under a lot of stress from school and really wanted to get along. But her snapping, when I say snapping, I mean like out of the blue, her mood would change and she would start to yell at me, was Mm. stressful. So the night before she leaves to go home for a few days, she snaps again about the fact that she thought I was cold to a mutual friend. (gasps) This friend, surely, I wouldn't really call her my friend. We just don't really vibe, but we both get along with Molly and a close friend of mine, Ashley, who I really get along with. Wait, it sounds like she doesn't get along with Molly, though, either. Yeah, no. Yeah, I guess this whole story is about not really getting along with Molly. Hmm. The reason why is Molly was very, very distant when I first got to know her, which I mistook for her not liking me. So I didn't really try and get to know her. You guys really, this was doomed from the start. Yeah, Yeah, no, Uh, these don't seem like good participants. (laughs) It's like, like uh, everyone's making a lot of assumptions about everybody. Yeah. And they're, is... they're just reacting to their own thing. Whew. So I told Molly all of this, but then she brings up my confidence saying I'm narcissistic and it's really affecting her because she hates herself. And that I'm <laughs> hurting the entirety of our friend group. Unfortunately, Molly's quite horrible about being sensitive and or reading others' emotions. Most of the things she had issues with were things like me checking myself out in the mirror or talking to myself and giving myself pep talks. So at this point, my feelings were a little hurt because I was just really sad that I was hurting everyone. So I kind of thanked her for being open and telling me um, so I could work on it. So we go for spring break and have our little road trip with the rest of the mutual friend group, which was okay, but a little awkward. When we both get back, we decided we should talk. I let her know I would have appreciated if she told me these things while not snapping or yelling at me. And that I didn't appreciate her speaking for other members of our mutual friend group, especially when they told me some of the stuff that she says wasn't true. She then denied she said some of the stuff she did say. Uh, wow. I'm going to skip over some of the like kind of repetitive stuff. Uh, cause this I just want these people to be left in the past. Yeah. These, are, these are people yeah. I... Uh. Yeah. It yeah. was affecting her because she's insecure and she admitted she was a little jealous of me. But she kept hammering on the fact that I was narcissistic and it was worsening her mental health that I was so self-confident. I was trying to ask her if there was something specific she wanted to demonstrate. But she just kept going on about it and said I needed I need it to stop because it just didn't feel like she was... Okay, now the grammar gets kind of like even worse from here. 
Um, <laughs> the, basically, the conversation doesn't go well. Uh, they just like hurt each other's feelings. They start screaming and cursing and crying at each other. Um, she says, I will add she's a lot taller than me, which with her temper can be a little scary. So she's never apologized to me. I spend two weeks afraid to be in my dorm room. I started trying to be friendly again because we have to live together in an apartment we leased for the next year with no. our mutual friends. She seems to think that means we can move on Yikes. like nothing happened, but it still stresses me out a lot. Any advice? I'm just scared she's going to keep doing this. I don't think you're friends. Yeah. yeah Wait, no. is this someone who writes in directly to you? Uh, this is somebody. Yeah, someone wrote into our form basically. Like, uh, yeah. this is what this is what happened to her, to her. I don't think that's a good friendship. It sounds like she wants you to be less secure so that she feels better. For no, all of like, this for no reason. Yeah, no, this isn't a healthy relationship. No, it sounds yeah, bad. This no, sucks. Okay, I. That's I, our advice. That's pretty this much it. Yeah, sucks. it's yeah. Not, it's not a good situation. No, this person yeah. sucks. You can right. get out of the lease as well. We have. I think we yeah. have time for just one more. I really do need to get going very soon, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there a short one? Uh, oh, there sure is. Uh, okay, let's do a short one. A short. Uh, there's a short and light-hearted one. Cool. And Lucas, I think you should read it. Because okay, give me. It's really funny. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoops, Daisy. Okay, here it is. Okay. Fuck, I'm panicking right now. I think I accidentally <laughs> jerked off to the last episode of the pod because it was playing in my ear while I was looking at porn. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh I, my god. Just I think someone done... may someone may do that with this episode. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Write to me if you do. I've done not that, but have you ever like been watching you know, you're watching like Netflix with somebody that you're like seeing. Uh-huh. Well, actually that's it's fine in most cases. There's this guy I was seeing and we were watching Big Mouth at the time. Okay. We used to watch it all the time, but then we'd start hooking up, and it was like really weird. Oh. Because the show is about like teen, like children, yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah. going through puberty. So then it felt like wrong, you know. I mean, I had a buddy in high school who he was watching Schindler's List for a project with a girl, and then he lost his virginity while it was playing <laughs> in the background. <laughs> You can't top Schindler's List. That's cr yeah. I did sext once watching Girl Interrupted, but Schindler's <laughs> List is a lot worse. Um, so it's okay that you jerked off to our podcast. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think you needed to admit it, but I'm glad you did. I think I think this person did. Yeah. I think this person did. And that brings us to the end of the podcast Thanks where we ask our guests to please describe we have a thing called self-perception corner where we ask our guests to describe the way in which they believe they are perceived by other people and then we say how we actually perceive you okay well i've had people tell me um that i seem like really calm and collected and uh, chill but that's not true <laughs> I have, like, extreme anxiety. Mm. I think it's so bad that it makes me seem calm. Mm. Okay. You're, like, overthinking everything to oh, the point yeah. where... Oh, Everything. Word. Like, okay. I'm always exhausting myself. Like, I think that's why, like, I don't have enough energy because I'm, like... <laughs> You're I'm just like so I'm, like, simulating every possible outcome of, like, every choice that I make. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which I'm working on. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Keep doing it because simulating stuff is, you ever play The Sims? That shit's fun. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Man, yeah, if I could just play The Sims to figure out like how different text messages to particular people would play out. Right. Then. Everything would be so much better. I would just know everything. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I but, will um, say when I first met you, I also thought you were pretty chill and calm. And over the course of this conversation, wrong. I was like, <laughs> it's not that I was wrong. It's just like you're you're kind of a ball of energy. You've got uh, energy. I do. Yeah. I guess yeah. And I think I think I do think we would have been friends in high school Aww. because I used to do stupid shit like that, too. Yeah. And I loved I thought it was I feel like you like to laugh and that oh, yeah. makes me happy to mm. like I feel like maybe the calm that people are picking up on is also that just like you do have like a calming energy. Like P I, I never have felt like uncomfortable or like less than around oh, you. Good, because I'm. That's funny because people feel the calmness, but I'm like, oh, I hope they don't think I'm being weird. Mm. <laughs> like, right, right. Like I'm really focused on hoping I'm not making them. Oh, uncalm. Well, this is a weird thought uh, that because this is a thought that I have had before I say how I actually uh -huh. feel, is that do you feel do you ever get worried that like if you didn't spend so much energy ang being anxious over stuff and then people like us saying, oh, we really feel calm around you. Do you then go, oh, shit, I need to keep this up and feel this way forever? Or do you? I mean, 
I did just think like there was this one day recently where I wasn't doing any of my mm. stuff. So I was just really in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> and I was having a great time, but I was being weird around people. So like that might have been one of those days. Okay. I mean, they were my friends. I think they probably enjoyed it, but it's like possible that I could annoy people if I just let everything uh, out, you know. So, yeah, maybe I do, maybe. would worry about that a little bit. Well, what I want to say is first off is that there's a reason maybe it's your eyes or something like that, <laughs> but you have a very open genuineness about you it's like when i anytime i've ever talked to you i thought this person has no ulterior motives this person is just very present and listening except and just to very... make you think i have no ulterior yeah, motives. yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. no but i and she I... gets in there with the conspiracies yeah, yeah. tell me what you believe <laughs> i'll talk about it on a podcast <laughs> jet fuel can't do yeah. anything oh well no, that's really nice to hear thank yeah, you yeah absolutely and lastly before and i you... would say the same about oh both thank of you, you very well. much you're very sweet. oh thank you would you please plug and promote anything you like yes okay so my show ambush comedy we are we recorded an album whoa <gasps> this was in february we recorded in february through helium it's me nice. josh johnson and lucas Connolly. hell yeah and it's being released on june 17th and uh yeah so please check that out i can can i put a link in like the whatever oh yeah, yeah you can send me a link and, and i'll like a pre-link or yeah something. yeah yeah you really can absolutely yeah and we're gonna have an album release show on the 22nd oh, beautiful be so fun. yeah where can, where can people it. find info about it on your socials what's um, your social my social my instagram is bretonus cardwell b-r-i-t-t-o-n-u-s-c-a-r-d-w-e-l-l cool. and we'll be posting everything there nice. and then we've got instagram at um Instagram at ambush I'm just like saying it. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying yeah. it like my dad would say it. Uh, am at ambush comedy. We'll be posting everything there. And nice. what did your dad say? Those clowns. Worthless clowns. Worthless clowns. clowns. <laughs> I uh, mean it. <laughs> um, oh, beautiful. Yeah, I think that's mostly what I want to promote. Nice. What about you? Um, I got stuff, but I'm forgetting it. Oh, I'm doing a roast of a uh, fluke human on June 8th oh, at Grove Hell yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be fun. Um, and then there's other stuff. Follow me at Hip Soccer Mom. Indeed. And uh, on June 9th, I'm going to be on Eitan Levine's uh, Jewish or anti-Semitic Ooh. live game show, June 9th oh at 7.30 p.m. Um, you can find you can find the info on my uh, Instagram at Lucas T Arnold. Uh, yeah, that's where I'll post everything. Thank you so much for being on the Thanks podcast. For you were a great guest. This so was much so fun. much fun. Thank yeah. you so much, and thank you all for watching and listening. We'll see you next week.